so I was gonna get a video out after I finished deck one, but uh, yeah, uh, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. So we're just gonna get right into it. This is the rear of the Rhodes Island landship. This part is still unfinished, and this is the elevator. So here we're gonna see the progress I have done on deck one for now. This is the vehicle bay. We got two lifts, um, generator something to power the lifts. We got a small repair area here. This is gonna be deck two, so that's not done yet. We've got even more repair area for larger vehicles and uh, bigger scale um, repairs such as uh, if we need metal plates fabricated. We've got refueling ops here, and I plan to put some fuel trucks somewhere um, for the extra large vehicles that can't even fit into this bay. Come over here, we have uh, some very large parking spaces in case Rhodes Island's carrying extremely large vehicles, although I guess if they're any larger than this, they can just drive alongside. So we got hallways. Hallways are kind of just very bland, and if you look at the art, there's just some fancy looking things on the sides of it, so I've tried to put in something to just break up the hallway. If you've ever been in an office building hallway, it is just extremely bland, and there's nothing around. And here is a recognizable room, maybe, a little bit. This is the reactor room. Well, it's kind of squished, um, but I needed to conserve room. And if you actually look at the reactor room, it's very, very small. A lot smaller than I was expecting, so... Um, the actual body of the reactor seems to actually only be three blocks wide, as in, like, three meters wide, which I don't think would show up very well in Minecraft. So, um, yeah, I made it a bit fatter. So we got these chonky reactors here. This is reactor number two. We have uh, reactors one through six. So there's a lot more than you can have in the game. Actually, I guess you could have more than six in the game, but I don't see why you would. Moving on, we have uh, some storage rooms. There's going to be various storage rooms and they're gonna look vaguely similar or different. I, um, I, guess, I guess that doesn't, oops. I guess that doesn't make sense. Here we have maintenance areas. So these are the small maintenance areas where uh, along the ship you're gonna have maintenance rooms. So we have another maintenance room here. You can see this one's mostly plumbing of some sort compared to the other one, which is uh, structural. And I guess, uh, I don't know what else to put in there. We'll see. Staircase, elevators. Okay, so, um, yeah, the elevator's just gonna be stairs. I had considered using bubble vaders, but I kind of wanted a bit more space. When you get the world download eventually, I would like you to be able to put in your own elevators, like the open blocks elevators. That'd be really nice for this. Um, but for the time being, there's gonna be uh, ladders so that it's more convenient to go up and down. Here we have bathrooms. Um, Pretty standard, I think. Not much to look at. Uh, sinks. I'm not using hoppers. Like, I usually would use hoppers for sinks. But uh, I want to be conservative about the amount of entities in the map. Uh, right now, we have 44 entities total on this entire map. 40, 43. Oh, there's bats, I see. Um, that is just a conserved lag. I've had a single-player world that I've had... Over 2,000 entities, and oh boy, it was impossible to run. Um, here's some urinals, or urinals, I, however you want to pronounce it. And Minecraft doesn't really offer a very good way to make these. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it makes sense when you walk in. We have more storage room. You can look at this in more detail in, I don't know when I'm releasing this. Here we have some uh, very tightly stacked bunks. This is not going to be the standard for um, the Rhodes Island dorms. This is just a, at least in my mind, a holdover from the old rim built built-in days where they had lots of lots and lots of people working on mining operations. So they would probably need to cram 
maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand people into this space. So we got these holdovers, and I guess these are just going to be here until uh, Rose Island needs to remove them, which, why not? Why remove them when you can still use them for now, at least humanely? Here we have the uh, electrical room. We got lots of rows of electricals. Here, I'm going to get the gamma up so you can see what's going on. Here's some piping behind here, or I guess electrical work behind here. Um, this is a very large electrical room. I guess transformers and things. I'm not in, I don't know anything about electrical stuff, but I try to keep it reasonably uh, realistic. Here we have a big elevator. So that's gonna go up when I finish the rest of the floors. Here we have a way down below the decks. come out underneath Rhodes Island. It's a bit cramped, and I think I'm going to expand the scaffolding area around here. Here, let's turn on the gamma. You can see this just goes to the other side, uh, and I think I might expand it a little bit, but I do want to keep the actual number of places you can enter Rhode Island down to a minimum. Just for security precautions. And finally, we have the battery storage facility. So these are all kind of, I guess, modular batteries so that uh, if one of them breaks down, we don't lose all of the energy storage on the ship. And here's the control center for where you would uh, control all the batteries or view them. And that's pretty much it. Oh, here's a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna show once I get this done next time. This is taking a lot longer than I, oops. This is taking a lot longer than I previously expected, but uh, in for a penny, in for a pound. Hope you have a nice day.